One of the finest men in the world today. Hey, young fellas. Come here a second. Come here a second. Listen. I don't care a thing about that Tri-State Tag Championship. I've got other eggs to fry. That's right. We want a gentleman's agreement. I don't want any kind of a repeat like last week you cost me a victory against Tom Jones. We're just going to have a gentleman's agreement. You stay away from my stuff, I stay away from yours. How many times have you heard this from this man right here? How many times, Ross? I'd trust him about as far as I'm What you're trying to say is that you want to make a gentleman's agreement right now. You're not interested in the Tri-State Championship. None whatsoever. If we stay out of your business, you'll stay out of ours. You're not Batman and Robin. You're just a couple of young kids. He's going to stay out of it. You have my word. My personal word. Yeah. General Skandar Akbar, these guys will stick behind the word. This is the only thing I'm going to say. We'll do, the future matches, we'll go ahead with them. But if you'll stay out of our matches, we'll stay out of yours. That's right. Wait just a minute. General Skandar Akbar has, General Skandar Akbar has, hit, has hit Eddie Gilbert with a handcuff. Hit. Gilbert is down. Gilbert is down. Gilbert is down. Agbar has got these handcuffs open. Agbar has got the handcuffs open. They're taking handcuffs in the ring. They're taking handcuffs in the ring. Wyskowski is handcuffing. Wyskowski is handcuffing Eddie Gilbert. With, or Ricky Morton. Wyskowski is trying to handcuff Ricky Morton to the ring. Wyskowski is trying to handcuff Ricky Morton to the ring. Eddie Gilbert is unconscious on the floor. And they've got a belt. Wyskowski has got a belt. Wyskowski is, Wyskowski is whipping Ricky Morton with a belt. This is totally uncalled for. Wyskowski, Wyskowski is whipping Ricky Morton with a belt. What's the, what's the idea of doing anything like this? Anything that's dastardly to anyone? General Skandar Akbar. General Skandar Akbar, look at the way on a lesson. Now you'll learn a lesson. You see what happens when you try to embarrass the prince? He gave you a public flogging. There'll be more if you continue to act up. The wrestling fans, this is totally uncalled for. There's huge swelps on the body of Rick Morton. He has been beat unmercifully. I think this is General Skandar Akbar's finest hour. Total humiliation for Rick Morton. Total humiliation for Rick Morton. Wrestling fans, whip you hear Ricky Morton. Uh, let's let's go to a commercial. They're from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing 228 pounds, Ricky Morton. And his partner from Memphis, weighing 222 pounds, Eddie Gilbert. The champions in the red corner from Hollywood, weighing 245 pounds, Jerry Brown. And his partner from Wichita, Kansas, weighing 250 pounds, Ron McFarlane. One fall to a finish. The wrestling fans, this is the match we've been telling you about. This match is for the Tri-State Championship, the Tag Team Championship. You've got a pair of Tennesseans in Eddie Gilbert and, of course, Ricky Morton going against Jerry Brown and Ron McFarland for the title. And here to add expert commentary is another champion. Bruiser Bob Sweetan is with us. And, Bruiser, it's a pleasure to have you here with us today. Thank you, Jim Ross. It's a pleasure to be here. One of the reasons I wanted to be out here is I want to watch this good young team of Morton and Gilbert. Now, when you talk about young people, I'm not talking about age-wise. I'm talking about years in the sport of professional wrestling. Now, these gentlemen probably been in the sport about two of this kid. This kid's got a lot of fire. He's going to go a long ways in this sport. He's got the desire, the determination, everything to go with him. Ricky Morton in there against Jerry Brown. Now, the veteran and a great deal of experience that Brown has is hopefully offset here by the... Well, any time you're in there with Jerry Brown, you've got to be on your toes. But this guy's been around a long time. He's smart. He's sharp. He'll lull you to sleep, and all of a sudden it's fluid on you. Carry up and beat you right on the spot. He's a, he's a good... He's a very good wrestler. Hip 
block takedown by Ricky Morton and a tag in and out. These, ju these young men from Tennessee appear to have a great deal of teamwork going for them, Bob. Well, they're, they're really going because these two guys are young. They've got, like I said before, they've got the determination. They want to get ahead in this sport, and the only way to get ahead is to be winners, and they're going to pool their resources, and they're going to give these tag team champions a rough go. They're going to be in for a little bit of trouble, McFarlane and Brown are. Kick to the solar plexus. Yeah, you give Brown half a break, and he's right on top of you, boy. Talk about teamwork now. Brown and McFarlane, now they're a pretty dang good team together, too. They'll be champions as long as they have been. They're, they're crafty veterans, both of them. And McFarlane really working on Ricky Morton with those right hands. And that's got to take a toll on this youngster. Here he comes. Like I said, this kid's got unbelievable determination and desire. Uh, he's been my partner on a few occasions, and I've never been more pleased with anybody. Look at that. Now McFarlane got a good shot in the jaw there from that forearm. It's going to take a little of the steam out of him. Gilbert's got things going his way. If he don't make a mistake, he's going to be all right here. And Gilbert, look at that hole. He's staying on that arm. He's going to wear that arm down, wear the rest of the body down. They make up with desire and determination and speed, these two young guys. They certainly do. And our packed house here at our television sports studio, really voicing their approval of this great young tag team, Ricky Good. Morton from Nashville and Eddie Gilbert from Memphis. They're going to give these two guys a rough go. These champions are not going to be in a fight. You can look at Brown there. You can tell he's a little bit worried. These two guys a little bit more than he anticipated. They figured with Gilbert and Morton, two young professional wrestlers in there, they can just run over them. But they're not going to run over these two guys. I can guarantee you that. this is our television main event and it could be a main event anywhere in the country i'll promise you that well this is next to a little incentive for uh, morton and uh, gilbert tag team titles being on the line plus the fact they're being on television these guys can hold uh, john mcfarland to a draw or just a bit of count on themselves he's going to move them up in the rankings as far as the tag team is going and that's exactly right and of course fans bob we do want to remind everyone that this match because the promoter leroy mcgurk is a one fall to the finish. We have got a lot of time left here in our hour of championship wrestling, and we're going to devote it, uh, all of it or all it takes to this match. Well, that's, that's one of the reasons I'm here and all dressed ready to go, because I'm one of the standby matches, just in case this match ends a little bit earlier, because when you get top competitors like Brown McFarlane in there against guys like Morton and Gilbert, you don't know if it's going to go all there or 10 minutes or what, because, like I said, as fast as these two young guys are and as quick as they are, they just might pop a fall and these guys beat them in a short time. You never know. Well, I must say that I'm very much impressed with the teamwork of these two young men. They've worked the tags in and out very, very effectively. There you see Ricky Morton. He took a severe punch to the rib. Well, Ron Ron Morton, Morton and Gilbert, they're a force to be reckoned with. And Ron and McFarland better put their thinking caps on. And I start thinking a little bit because they ever meet these people again in this championship match. Gilbert and Morton don't beat them this time. They may get him the next time. But these gentlemen don't forget anything. Uh, he got overconfident. That wasn't happening. When you're in there with Don McFarlane, you can't make a mistake. You can't get overconfident. You've got to be on top of him all the time. He's in for a little rough going there now. Brown is like a tiger. He sees the advantage. He's not going to stop now. He's going to go and pound and beat as much as he can. A devastating backbreaker. That paralyzed the whole body. Let me tell you, I felt it before. Right now, Brown working on uh, Eddie Gilbert. Of course, Eddie Gilbert, won, Eddie Gilbert formerly held the Class A Tag Team Championship with uh, Tommy Gilbert. Right. And uh, I'll tell you something, he's a very accomplished young man. And right now, Brown, seizing that Eddie Gilbert has got that back from the result of that backbreaker. And well, it, I can talk about Eddie Gilbert from personal experience. I've wrestled as a young gentleman in the past. A few years ago in Atlanta, I wrestled a man in the... He gave a very good account of himself a few years ago, so he's, he's improved with time. He's gotten stronger. He's matured a little bit. And this man is uh, a, definitely a person to be reckoned with because he's got all the credentials of a top professional wrestler. He's got the desire, the ability. He comes from a wrestling family just like Ricky does. And like I said before, I hate repeating myself, but these two guys are going to be hard to beat. But Byron, he's up there. He's a little cocky. He feels they've got the match in control. But you never have the match in control until the last bell rings. 
This is one sport. Well, it's like all sports. You make one mistake and the game's over with. Well, they are really working on the back of Eddie Gilbert here on Championship Wrestling. Ricky Morton exhorting his, Ricky Morton exhorting his teammate on. There you see Morton trying to get Eddie Gilbert to get there and make that tag. And Brown very on his lower back like that. It, it paralyzes the legs and it, it's very devastating because the lower part of your back controls your whole body. And you work on this, it's, it's like cutting off the head or taking the head. Wherever the head goes, the rest goes. And if your legs don't work, uh, you may as well hang it up. You're not going to get anything done. So, Brown got a little overconfident. Brown sauntering around that ring, caught a right hand to the stomach. You see, the Gilbert and Morton, they're not going to quit. They're not going to lay over just because they're champions. Watch Brown cut off the ring, cut off the avenues for the tag. Well, that's, you know, he's within the rules. People say, well, he's breaking the rules. Yes, he is, but the referee's in a tough spot. He's got a five pound to get out of there. And all the referee can do is count, and if he gets out of here before five, he's getting away with a little skull there. And well, let me tell you, Brown and McFarlane are two people that take advantage of all the rules. They break them as far as they possibly can and still be within the bounds of the referee. Thanks here in just a few moments. In just a few moments, we're going to have to come up on that commercial break, and we'll, of course, keep our cameras right here. As a matter of fact, fans, let's go right now for our next television timeout. And we'll be back with more action right after these words. Personal timeout. Ron McFarlane has kept working right on that back of Eddie Gilbert. And as Bob Sweetan said earlier, that back breaker that Brown gave Gilbert earlier really took it out of this young man from Memphis. And McFarlane has really worked on it. Well, don't make a mistake of calling this young kid out because he's not out. Like he looked right there. He's determined. He fights back every chance he gets. Now Brown and McFarlane back their old trick, double teaming him. This is, well, you can't blame the referee in this situation. He's trying to do his job to the best of his ability. And the man's only got two hands, two feet, and two eyes. He can't be everywhere at once. So the fans sometimes get on the referee. Only I do sometimes, too, but the man has a hard job, and he does it to the best of his ability. But that's all you can expect the man to do is the best. Very high backdrop from McFarland to Gilbert, and Gilbert down for the count of two, and they're right back very efficiently. Right on that bear hug. And he's got those big arms locked right into the small part of the back, as Bob Sweet Sandy alluded to earlier. And you know, don't, don't make a mistake of looking at McFarland and say the man isn't strong. Because the man is very solidly built. He's got a lot of strength. And he's got a lot of determination also. And, and the man is a very competent competitor. And with the old veteran Brown in there, they make a very good team, a very successful team. And they're going to be hard to beat. If Morton and Gilbert come close to beat these gentlemen, they've accomplished something today, I guarantee you then. There you see McFarland pulling the tight. He's got to the break corner. every rule he possibly can. As long as they can get away with it for a little while, they're going to do it. These two young guys are going to have to figure something out to, to get around the rule breaking that Don McFarland do. They're going to have to use their speed, determination to get around it. keeping a great deal of pressure on the back of Eddie Gilbert in this battle for the Tri-State Tag Team Championship, our television main event. Good, that's good. And Gilbert with those flying tackles on Ron McFarland. Uh, oh, double collision right there. Both men ran together right there. Neely is going to count. they got 10. And you get two guys, both ran well over 200. Get it full speed. That's a heck of a clash. It knocks the wind out of you, boy. You know, you lose all sense of direction and everything else. There it is. There's a tag. There's a the tag was made. Chance. You better not make a mistake on this one. High back drop and down goes McFarland. Morton, the fresh man in the ring. Atomic drop by... Atomic drop. A great, a great atomic drop. And here comes Jerry Brown. Uh, Morton's right on him, boy. He's right on. That's the way to do it. See, they're not giving up. They're digging, boy. They're, they're reaching way down for everything they got, and they're going to fire on these people. We've got all four men in the ring right now. All four men are in the ring. Eddie Gilbert and Ron McFarland, and the best I remember, it's Ricky Morton and McFarland are the two legal yeah, men They're the, the legal ring. men in the ring, yes. Down they go. 
I am going to take you and I am going to tie you up in a rope like just happened to me. And I am going to take that stinking turban you wear on your head and I'm going to shove it right down around your throat and try to choke the very life out of you. Because this is the end. This is the end and I won't let it happen to me anymore.